What is Hello, that? everyone. Sorry. Welcome to our very first Scam Haters United podcast. Scam Haters United Australia and New Zealand. And I'm joined this evening with Alicia. Alicia is one of um, our admins and Alicia is in Sydney. Um, we've both had experiences with scams. And Alicia, would you just like to talk about a little bit about yourself, please? Oh, well, I'm... Um... I'm now single. I, I lost my partner five years ago and after when I was going through my grief, that's when I went through my scam. I got victimised for a few years and, um, yeah, I finally, um, yeah, I don't know what to say. Yeah, anyway, um, yeah, so I just finally decided to um, try educate people, help people if I can, you know, because it's, it's such a cruel thing to happen to you, you know, to lose all your money and, you know, and I was going through some of the hardest times of my life, you know, like mm. I lost, mm. people, lost five people since 2019. So oh, I've been going through yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's terrible. Um, yeah. Yes, no, with me, I'm widowed myself and uh, I've been widowed for eight years and I've got a 35-year-old daughter who lives with me. Um, she's the apple of my eye and the centre of my world. I didn't know anything about romance scams whatsoever neither no and i was scammed my scam started july last year um on tiktok and uh i met my scammer on tiktok i shouldn't say i met he contacted me on tiktok and uh it went from there i won't go into great detail because it's a very very long and boring story for some people um but it's a very very real real um hi dana um dana's just joined us and um it was very 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 hard so as yeah. a result um i decided to do something about it after speaking with ruth ruth Everyone, Ruth is wonderful. Oh, I don't know she's what I would have done. With real him. matriarch. <laughs> she's wonderful, Ruth. I've got a very, very <laughs> soft spot for Ruth. And yeah. um, she actually helped me. And with a bit of soul searching and well-being, um, I repaired very, very quickly. So as a result, I thought to myself, there's nothing down here in the Southern Hemisphere for victims and scamming is a crime. You've got to remember that. Scamming is a crime. So I decided why don't I start my own Scam Haters United Australia and New Zealand. That was in March. Since then, it's only been a very few months. Um, we've had a lot of victims come to us already, which and I was just astounded the amount of victims there is. You've probably noticed coming onto the platform, Alicia, you probably would have noticed how busy we are now. Yes, and we are. We are very, very busy. Um, I'm at the moment, I'm helping two at the moment and uh, my days are just full, are just full, which I love because I've got a passion to help people. Yeah, I noticed since I've come on the team, I've been a lot busier and I'm actually staying up a lot at night. <laughs> it's wonderful, actually, because we do tend to work in, work in shifts. Um, yeah. And uh, I'm just replying, sorry. Um, and thankfully we've got Gaylene. I don't know where she is. She was having trouble before. Um, yeah. But we do have a lot of victims in Australia and New Zealand. Now, not only do we do romance scams, we actually do all types of scamming yeah. because yeah. I don't know what it's like for the other geographical regions of the world, but down here in Australia, we have got a lot of scamming going around, especially mm. with um, government scams and at the moment, being taxation time there's a lot of scams going around and we've also got a big big problem with sextortion scams yeah oh that's what that's it's the worst yeah it's it's very 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 sad yeah 
Yeah, I've got yeah, older grandchildren now, teenagers. I just say be very careful because they got mm. Snapchat. You know, mm. Yeah. Mm. that's right. Um, so it is very, very, very sad. So we, yeah. So as I said, we deal with all types of scams. Um, and we're just bringing awareness, not only education, but awareness and letting people know that we are here. Now, you don't necessarily have to be a scam victim yourself. You could have a friend who's a scam victim. You could have a relative who's a scam victim. And you just want to talk. That's what we are here for. Yeah. And yeah. I, it, it's, yeah, no, it's wonderful. Just if you can just talk for a couple of minutes, please, Alicia. I'm just going to try and see where Gailene is. I won't be yeah. a tip. Yeah. I don't know what to say. I'm so sure. <laughs> Gailene, come on. <laughs> um, yeah, well, I'm, um, yeah, about myself, I've got um, a uh, 36 year old daughter and six grandkids. And I just, um, ever since I've been scammed, I've um, just liked to spend a lot of time with them. You know, that's, you know, the way for me to get through what I, you know, what happened to me. And, and I had a lot of very supportive friends. Yeah, I just, some days I don't know how I get on because so much has happened to me beside my scam with the loss of my mum and my two sisters. It's just um, been a very hard time for me. Yeah, but um, being not part of this group's great, and oh, I'm so grateful that I even found Scam Haters United a couple of years ago because when I got scammed, I didn't know where to turn, you know, like um, yeah, and I just yeah, I had the suicidal thoughts and everything after that happened to me, but I'm a lot stronger for it now, and yeah, I'm glad it never got the better of me. Yeah, yeah that's exactly so, right. That's exactly yeah. right. It's um. I was a little bit different, um, and that is that um, I wasn't going to let it get the better of me. Um, yeah. And, oh, here she is. Hello, Gaylene. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> what a lucky near feel for <laughs> Everybody, this is our this is our dear Gaylene. Gaylene is my counterpart in New Zealand. Um, she is a very very big part of our dynamic. Um, and we were just saying how this how we came to emerge into Scam Haters United Australia New Zealand. Gaylene, would you just like to just address how big? The scams are over in New Zealand, please. I haven't actually had any come to me. I have dealt with one. Um, Kathy went away and I got left with it. And I've managed to help I threw you in the, the deep wife. end. <laughs> hey? I sure did. I threw you in the deep end. <laughs> Yeah, I was thrown in the deep. I was thrown in the deep end, and um, hopefully, it has been solved, and he hasn't gone back to it. But that's the only case I have done, and I was scared. Yes, but I got there. <laughs> of course you did. Of course you did, and I I didn't have any. Um, you know, any any worries about you doing it whatsoever. You've got to remember, as I was saying to Alicia before, Gaylene, scamming is a crime. It's a disgusting oh, yeah. crime. It That's all it is. And yeah. it affects so many people in different ways. It's not only it the... It, it's not... You're not the only victim. The, the other victim is the actual poor person whether it be male or female whose photos are stolen to yes, use exactly yeah they are also with the victim so there's there's three in the relationship there's a yeah. victim and there's a perpetrator and the main thing is not for for um them to contact yeah, 
That's exactly right. That is exactly right. Um, <clears throat> no, that's right. I, I found my the guy that I was, yeah, the real guy, and I just wanted to check his profile out. And it was for closure, really, for me. Mm. I found his Oh, never said anything, just checked it out. He was getting married at the time. I was being scammed by his pictures, you know, and that's how I, yeah, another thing that helped me to move along just to find the real person and, yes, yeah, see what, it, yeah, what sort of person he was. I was yeah, but just it did help with me for closure, yeah. That's exactly right. It's um, it's very, 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 very hard. Um, yeah. And we always say with the scammers, when you, when they first well, I call it grooming. Um, yes. And when they first approach you, you know, they'll keep you on that wherever they are, whether it be Facebook, whether it be Google Chat, uh, Instagram, Twitter, anything like that. And they'll keep you there for a couple of weeks until they take you away from that platform and they'll take you somewhere off the platform so that they can work on you. Yeah, it was, it was hangouts for me at the time. It was called hang, yeah. yeah, still hangout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, with, with Molly, what's WhatsApp and hangout? Yeah, yeah WhatsApp. We, yeah, well, WhatsApp. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. Enough said about WhatsApp and also TikTok. That's where I. Yeah. That's where I found. Oh yeah. That's where my scammer found me. TikTok. Um, and I was just innocently on there just doing, because I, I do paint watercolours. Uh, that's my passion when I'm away from all this. I like to just have the soft music playing and I'm doing my painting. Nothing better in this world. It's wonderful. And, yeah, that's where he took advantage of me. Yeah. You know, it's, it is just terrible, absolutely terrible. Um but I was just saying that, Gaylene, we don't only just deal with romance scams. We also no, deal with New Zealand. We do any scam because yes. it's not only just romance scams, which is really, really a sad thing and a big thing down here, is the amount of scams that older people fall into, especially investment scams. Yeah, yeah investment and bank bank scams as well Games, mm. yeah. like you might you might get an email or, or a tax or something just mm -hmm. click on because mm -hmm. it's your bank and mm -hmm. it's not not your bank at all exactly. um there's been a lot of that mm, um, exactly yeah, and 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 also you've got to be very very careful with your scammer too that um when the money is involved that you don't become a money mule because that's yes. really bad down here too. Is the money muling? It's just terrible. Um, yeah. You can get yourself into a lot of trouble. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, a lot of trouble. Have you found? Have you found that people are becoming uh, more open with their scams? I am. I personally am with the people I'm talking to. The victims I've spoken to, um, it's, it's like a whole new world has opened up to them when they speak to someone because they've oh, yeah. no one to speak to. Yeah. 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 Well, it's, I mean, I've only spoken to the one, so, I mean, I haven't had much experience on it at all. So, yeah. so if there's I any know. New Zealanders out there that need help, mm, I'm yeah. always available. Mm, yes, exactly. I I'm, I'm, I'm always, it's easier for me to open up to another victim and, yeah, because we've got so much in common and just, you know, similar stories, basically, yeah, just, yeah. Mm, mm. I'm, oh, I'm always up to anybody if I can. And yeah. that's exactly right what Ali's just said there. She said that there's been a lot of text messaging-based scams and that is yeah. huge too. That is massive, you know, like we've got the Telstra scam, We've got the um, toll link scam. Oh, yeah, I get them all the time. I don't know. <laughs> <own a car. laughs> exactly, yeah. the toll link scam. Can you can throw a post scam saying that my oh, package my is... Oh, That's right. I've got That's two right. this week. Yeah. Just delete. Yeah. Yeah. But 
another thing that I want to I want to point out, and I had this conversation with Ruth when I did my last last chat with her, and what I must stress, I really must stress, is when people come to us and they ask us for help, and look, like you too, I just drop everything and I just devote my time to that person. I will listen and I, I look, I'm one of these people that write everything down <laughs> um, and I think it's a waste to write everything down. And yeah, I and do. you've got me doing it now. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> well, it's good practice because um, you can go back on your notes. And, yes. yeah. and when I speak, another thing I do too, and Ruth says, um, and she's right too, in my last chat, she said, Kathy is a very clinical person. And I am a very clinical person because not only do I write things down, I ask if they're comfortable doing a video call because that way they can see who they're speaking to. You know, I'm not a scammer. I can get up and I can turn around. I can do anything. You can't yeah, do I'm that with a scammer. Yeah, like when I joined the group, you rang me, you'd done a video call yeah. with me, and that was good. I liked that. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. Because I give you, the, I give you that option. Um, if they don't want to, that's fine. That's okay. Yes. But it's more of a safety thing than anything because you don't want somebody who's, you know, been monitoring what you've been writing, and then yeah. they decide, oh well. They're going to, you know, contact you via messenger and they mightn't be part of the platform that we're on. Yeah. So a video call is very, very important, I, I believe. It gives them the security. It gives them the the fact that you're dealing one-on-one. -on -one. It's very private, very confidential. Um, we don't talk outside our group. Uh, if I have an issue, the first person I turn to, obviously, is Ruth. Because yes. Ruth is a yeah. wealth of knowledge. Oh, my word. <laughs> yeah. She's a wealth of knowledge. I couldn't get through without Ruth. I mean, I'm just so, so blessed to have her. And and then having Gaylene, when I, when I, the story is with Gaylene, I've got to tell everyone, Ruth said to me, I have a couple of people down in, in Australia and New Zealand that help us out. And she mentioned Gaylene. And she said, I must put you in contact with Gaylene. The moment we spoke, we were glued, weren't we, Gaylene? Yeah. 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 Absolutely glued. Um, to the fact that I'm actually going to host you too. You're coming over down here to my place. Gaylene is <laughs> from New Zealand to spend a month with me, which is going to be wonderful. And Alicia is flying down to join us too from Sydney. So I'm rather excited. So the three amigos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for you to get Ruth down to don't, don't forget to bring the council like Ruth said. <laughs> <laughs> Ruth said not don't forget to ring the council. Have you let them know? <laughs> Oh, yes, that's exactly right. Um, but no, I, I think that, yeah, what we need to what we need to do is just let people know that we are here. We're very, very approachable. We do have a messenger chat um, that's available and you can leave a message there. If you don't want to leave a message, if you don't have a messenger, we have a Gmail address and that Gmail address is on our site. You can always send us a message and I'm the actual principal, so I get all the messages. So you will hear from me. If I'm tied up with something, I will consult either Alicia or Gaylene and they'll, you know, I just give them the person that, they, you know, that I want them to look after. Um, Yeah, I really, really want people to know that they can come to us. It doesn't matter how bad the scam is, how embarrassing, how demoralising. We are here. We understand what exactly what you're going through, you know. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, and we won't judge yeah. you either. No, no. 
not definitely not and a lot of people too you've got to remember a lot of people don't have anyone to turn to yeah oh geez i wish i had somebody at the time when it happened to me yeah mm. Didn't, you know they don't have anyone a lot of them haven't got families or they do have families but they don't want their family to know that's and right that can be a living hell for some people oh yeah it can be a living hell um Gaylene, as we know, we've had we've had victims who, um, male and female victims in the family yeah. unit who have been victims, and it's in, it has impacted on the whole family, including the children. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and, when and it involves kids, it's it's not good. It's not good. It's not good. And a lot of the people too that have been victims of scams and they've got nothing left. Look, we say to them, you know, they haven't got money for food or anything like that, and I always make sure that they turn to the Salvation Army or St Vincent de Paul. They can get food parcels delivered to the house. There is always help. Yeah, there there definitely. Help. Yeah. yeah, you know, places we can go and just get free meals every time, every day, around That's here exactly anyway. Right. That's exactly mm. right. So you don't have to be alone. You do not have to be alone. Um, our site has actually grown very, very quickly so far, which is wonderful. But what I was what I was about to say before you came on, Gaylene, and that was, <coughs> pardon me, um, with my last chat with Ruth, and it is so important imperative it is really imperative for your recovery if you come to us and you want to get help you want to get out of the scam please listen to the advice that we offer whether or not you take it, it's a different matter but we always say please block and delete do not go back to your scammer. I've had exactly. three instances where I've had three victims who have actually uh, ignited their scammer again and they're their Crazy. own enemy. Yep, they will never recover. No. And it's just terrible. It's, it's just, it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking for me, yeah. you know, because I've just got such a fire in my belly for this. Um, it's just awful. So you've got to, well, I mean, when you come to us, you've got to be prepared to put in the hard yards. And we will, we will be walking right by your side all the way through. Um, yeah. You know, it's... <laughs> And we've had we've had victims who have lost. Oh my goodness! I had one victim uh, who I helped, and this victim lost five point three million dollars. God, yeah. yeah, that's just. You know, how do you recover from that? Mm. And it doesn't. It look. It doesn't matter. You know, the amount of money that you've lost. It's also what it is doing to you. It is breaking your spirit. Oh, definitely. It breaks your spirit. Yep. Um, so we try and, you know, just offer advice just from our own personal experience. We're not counsellors, but we have, we have walked that road and we know what it's like. Some of us have, some of us hasn't, um, you know, but just being, just be prepared. If you do come to us and you want help, we are here for you, regardless of what the scam is. I had a lovely conversation this morning, um, a video call with um, a very, very lovely man called Cesar Camacho. Now, Caesar is a United States Army soldier. His photos have been used in romance scams 
since the start of COVID in 2020. Yes. And I was talking to Caesar and I was just curious the psychological effect that it has on him. Um, he's obviously got a very beautiful wife who understands. And I mean, that's that's look, my my heart goes out to her. He's got a lovely little boy. And I said to him, How do you cope? You know, and he said, You just have to, you know, grin and bear it. Or well, he shouldn't have to grin and bear it. No, not at all. You shouldn't have no. to grin and bear it. So as a result, I will be doing a live uh, podcast again next week and Caesar is going to be my guest and he's going to do uh, a chat on scammers impersonating military personnel for romance scamming and we're just so blessed to have him next week, which is wonderful. Yeah, is mine it... was a military romance. <laughs> Sorry? Mine was a military romance. Was a, was, yeah, pretending to be a Marine. Yeah. Mm, mm. I, um, mine was, was a military romance, but my scammer was a civilian in the military. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah, um, but look, they can be anything. I mean, they can be oil riggers. They can be construction personnel. They can be pilots. They can be doctors. And yes. they can be nurses. They can be doctors. You know, yep. any run the mill. It's it's anything. Um, you know, so they can be anything. And the and and the thing is too with the romance with the romance scamming especially, they always will not most of the time they will not give you a video call because they say their camera's not working or they can't use it because they're in a secret zone. No military personnel will tell you that they are in a secret zone. That's right. For yeah. Start, for a start. Um, and yeah, and and on, they might put the camera on, but it'll be the picture of the stolen person, and you'll see the mouth move, you know, and you'll yeah. see the eyes open and shut, but you can't hear anything. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, mm, you can't hear anything, and that's what I was getting back to with with the video chats, and that's why I said I offer video calls to my victims for that main reason. Um, it's, I think it's quite important. I like to see the person I'm talking to. And, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty big down here. Very, very big. What's it like in Sydney, Alicia? Um, I've got a couple of women I know that, um, but they keep going back and talking to new men. They'll get, realise this one's a scammer and keep going back for more, you know, like, yeah, but. I haven't you, heard of you. Too many, you think that's a love bombing? Yes, I, this one woman. Yeah, she. It's definitely the love bombing she likes, and and you know she just sends money all the time and leaves herself short. And I keep trying to warn her. I try to educate her, and I've told her when face check ID was still available for free, I put her onto that. And then she'd be coming up in another month's time. Oh, I've got this new fellow. He's coming from America on Saturday. I'd see her on the Monday. Did he come? Oh no, he's got delayed. Got delayed, and he um, can't come for another couple of weeks. I said, oh, "You know, it's a scam, don't you?" And she's, "No, he's for real. We've done a video call, but you know, I know she's lying about that too. It's probably one of those phony video calls, of course. Yeah. Do you think that she's too afraid to admit it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because I told her about my own story too, and I said, "Come on, like I understand. You know, like it's." Just, you've got to try to stop, you know, because she's had her accounts hacked, Instagram, Facebook, you know, they've come after and, yeah, they clone, have made plenty of clones of her account, you know, but she's given, she got $80,000 and, you know, she gave half of it to this one fella she was speaking to mm -hmm. and the bank were, yeah, they, but she said, oh, it's my fiancé in America and they allowed her to send $10,000 to him at one stage there. And, oh, mm -hmm. yeah, Mm, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Definitely being scared because every time 
I get all these friend requests and she's always the friend with them. So she, and I've warned her too, and she just keeps accepting friend requests from strangers. Yeah. No. And, and, and you can also, a, a good way to actually see that they are a scammer, um, and this is what I've learned of, from my wonderful Ruth, and that is that when you do get a friend request, have a look at their profile have a look at their posts, have a look at their photos, and you'll see a lot of the photos were uploaded on the same day. Yes, yeah. Every photo yeah. was loaded up on the same day. Yeah. <clears throat> or you'll see that uh, a lot of the friends are very, uh, if it's a man, there's a lot of very, very young, pretty girls if it's a woman there's a lot of distinguishing looking men you know and yes. very few females so uh, just just little little hints there just just yeah. be very very mindful um and also if they get too familiar too quickly yes yeah. too familiar too quickly uh you know because i mean that that they can go from meeting you to liking you to finally saying they love you within a matter of weeks, even days. Now, yeah. it, anybody in their own right mind wouldn't do that. No. They wouldn't do that. I mean, that takes years. And yes. then the next step is they want to marry you. That's exactly right, Gaylene. That's exactly right. You know, yeah, and, right. and you've got to be so, so much on your game when you're doing it. I personally, and, and I've said this to you before, Gaylene, with all my friends that I've got on my personal Facebook, I have physically met. Yeah. Yeah. Every the one of them. I have physically met. And I've had, since I've been doing scammer haters, I've had a lot of friend requests and I'm sorry, but no, no, I, 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 I don't accept. And that's, that's just, that's just me, you know, or if I've had somebody who I've been in contact with, with scam haters, um, if they send me a friend request, you know, I'll look at their profile and yes, I'll accept them. Yeah. Except well, I've been lucky. I haven't had any file touch wood. <laughs> mm, mm. The same with Instagram. I mean, I'm on Instagram, but I have got a verification checked Instagram for that main reason because I've had a lot of scammers trying to scam, get well, not scam, but uh, add me as a friend. No. Yeah, Definitely I've had a not. few lately on IG. But none yeah, on Facebook. Not. Yeah. Not and day. Mm. Yeah. And as you as you ladies know, I'm only on Facebook and Instagram. And that's it. You know, I used to be on Twitter when I was working. Um, I used to be on TikTok, but no, nothing like that at all now. Nothing like that at all. Um <clears throat> and another thing too that I want to bring up too with the scammers a lot of little things to look out for is I was talking to a victim today and I asked the victim did your scammer contact you in the wee hours of the night or early hours of the morning and we know where this is leading to and that person said yes they did and then I explained the reason behind that is is because they contact you because you'll be sleep deprived and your brain yep. your brain doesn't work yep. properly as it should. Yep. You know, it's still in that comatose state. Um, and they know that this is the best, their best time to get you. And with scammers too, it's not just one scammer you're talking to, you're talking to many. 
you are talking to many. They work in groups and they work yeah. in shifts. Yeah. And yeah. and we all know, yeah. we've learnt from this, you, you know that that's the way it works to Gaylene and Alicia. Yeah. You know how yes. that's exactly the way they work. I remember the first time I realised it, I thought, he seems different we'll even. in a room. Yeah. A different spell personality. Of... Yeah. A different personality. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I found that with my scammer. I had My scammer had about four different personality types. Yeah. And I knew, I knew in the end that it wasn't just one, it was many. Yeah. Um, and be very, very mindful too of please, please don't send personal photos. Nope. <laughs> I, I, I will be truthful. I was guilty of that. Um, my face wasn't in it, thank God, but I was guilty of that. And even though my face wasn't involved, he still said that he would post my photos. And at the time I just wasn't thinking straight, you know, and I was I was just horrified, absolutely horrified. And that's where it comes back to the sextortion again. Yes. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, we will have a lot of Americans viewing this later on. But as you know, we've had two... Um, young lads here in Australia that have committed suicide because of yeah. sextortion. You know, that's just, oh, that's really, really heart-wrenching. Yeah, it just shows yeah. how heartless. They don't care who they hurt, you know. No, no they don't. They don't. It's about the consequences of what they do, you know. Mm. That's exactly cruel. wrong. Cruel, cruel people. Oh, they're all trying they're to all... get what they want. They, that's all they yeah. care about. That's exactly right. Yeah. As long as they get, as long as they get the money uh, for the photos, and they're fine, you know. And, and yes, Dana, that's exactly right. Um, it's just, uh, it's just terrible. But these two young boys in uh, one was in Victoria, and one was in New South Wales. And that family is ruined. It's just yeah. ruined, you know. Um, I, I'm sorry, but I absolutely hate scammers. Oh, same, same here. here. And I even hate the word gift card. <laughs> well, yeah, we know about the gift cards down here. We don't have the Steam cards in Australia, but we have gift cards. And they're the same thing. Uh, yeah. And, yeah, I was in Woolworths the other day and I was looking at the, at the gift cards and I thought, my goodness, I can remember when you could buy a $10 gift card. Here they were, the starting price, $50. Yeah, they do have Steam cards here, $20, $20, $20 $50 and $100. Yeah. <laughs> Pardon me. I've never Woolworths. seen them. Okay. Yeah, yeah they're okay. in Woolworths, BW. I know, yeah. Yeah, BW, um, I don't know. Oh, they had him in Target too. Yeah, but Target's gone now. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Um, Gaylene, in New Zealand, what do you think is the majority of scams over there? Do you think it's romance or investment or crypto? What are you, what are you sussing I'm out? I'm not actually sure on the crypto. I mean, I have seen some of it. Um. Mainly it seems to be the text messages from saying they're from banks or um, other places where they want you to log on so that you're giving out the, giving out your information to the people and it's not them at all. And many of the banks have turned around and said, no, it's not us, ring us if you're not sure. We don't give out this information. And, I mean, we have it on TV nearly every night on the ads that with the uh, ASB, I think it is, they have ads on TV of schemes. Right. And, I mean, some of them are the ones that I've actually put up on the group page that, yeah, 
So, I mean, those sort of scams are being put out here and it's also on the radio and that as well. But it seems to be more those scams than actually romance scams. Okay. Well, okay. I mean, I haven't actually, I actually haven't seen a lot. And I mean, I've looked and I've looked and I've looked and I haven't come across anything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And what about yourself, Alicia? What have you found since you've been coming, since you've been uh, been with us and just the information that you're finding, what do you think is a major problem as far, um, as, scams, as, far as Australian is concerned? Well, romance scams is a problem, but there is a lot of banking ones and uh, telemarketing um yeah telemarketing and the now tax time's up yeah because i've just yeah i'm learning how bad it really is since i've been with the page i've yeah i never realized how bad things were like i just always focus on the romance scam thing really mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. and that's what i was saying to ruth you know when i want to start this 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 group um i said to ruth you know it's not only romance scams i want to look after i want to look after all types of scams because it really is huge down here, absolutely massive. We have also got a lot of visa scams here. Yeah. Where people come over to work and then they go back to their country. Well, we've got a lot of visa scams here. Um, but I'm finding the people that have been coming to me I must admit, have been romance scamming. Yeah. I've done a lot. Um, I've only had one investment scam and I've had one sextortion scam. Mm. Mm. One sextortion scam. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, and... and Look, we, we really do emphasise that if you are being scammed, there is someone you can, you can turn to. I'm very, very fortunate, actually, because I've got a very good relationship with our local police station down here, and um, they have got my name as a contact for people who have been scammed, and I've had three have been referred to me by the police service of of someone that I can talk to um because they're they're, fan, they're they are just so happy there is someone here I mean that, yeah. that's unbelievable yeah yeah they're probably coming across it more and more often now yeah they are yeah. even 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 my my local member of parliament you know has has spoken to me about it um it is just rife down here, absolutely rife. Yep. Um, yeah, so when I'm, we always say our parting words this evening are if you think that you are in trouble, all you have to do, look, it it Reach doesn't out. necessarily have to come to us. It, it, it can yes. go to Scam Haters United and that is Ruth in the UK. Now, Ruth has got a wonderful team that are working with her. Not only is it the UK, it's the USA. Um, since we've been on board, Ruth will either call me or text me and she'll say, Kathy, I've got a victim. And then that's where we come into play. Yeah. When we speak to our victims, we... <laughs> I've had one where this particular victim was absolutely inconcilable. You just, I just could not, I just could not for the first hour get this victim to settle down. But by the time I had finished, I spent three hours with this victim. By the time I was finished with with this victim, um. They were a different person. They were more relaxed. And, and then I just checked in every day. 
and made sure to let them know that we were here. They can always contact us. We have to get them to contact us. I don't go hunting for them and I won't go hunting. And one thing I won't do is, one thing I do hate, I'm sorry to use that word, and that is when they come back to me months down the track and they're back to the same old drawing board again. You know, it's just you've do, you put all that time and effort into education, into listening, offering support. And as I said, it only comes from our own experience, what we've been through. <coughs> Part of me, if you have been scammed and you want to come to us, the first thing I say is please, please, please just block all communication for a start. Because once that money stops, the scam will stop. And yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's I'm true. Sure. Yeah. Once, once the money stops, the scam will stop. The money normally stops because you've got no more money to give. And that's when they'll, yeah, that's when they usually. And these scammers have no conscience. No. You know, they don't have any backbone. And, you know, this crazy idea of, of saying that they deserve, you know, to be to be looked after because of all the slavery back in the good old days. That's a load of rubbish. The poor excuse. Yeah, yeah definitely. Mm -hmm. It is a very, very poor excuse. Um, so, is there any parting words that you want to say, Gaylene, for this evening? Uh, can't think of anything. The main thing is to come and talk to us if if you do need help. Um, I'm here most of the, most of the day, um, mm. and that's so. If there's anyone out there that needs help and thinks they can't do it alone, we are here for you. Mm. And you know, as we said before, we will listen. We've, yeah, we, and we will listen to what you say. Yeah, we're very, very, look, everyone, Alicia, Gaylene and myself, we are very, very passionate people. We wouldn't be doing this if we weren't so passionate about it. Yeah. And we're finding that it's our goal and I get a lot of satisfaction out of helping others. I've learnt a lot along the way of different scams. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. Um, but no, please, please come to us. And do you have any parting words, Alicia? Um, pretty much the same, just, yeah, if you need help, please don't hesitate to come. We're all here for you. If you want to send me a friend request and have a chat, Anytime I'm here, just, yeah, message me. Um, yeah. And, you know, if you're going to continue to talk to people, don't, don't accept friend requests from strangers. And if you're going to continue to talk to people, just don't ignore the red flags. Mm. Yeah. And, yeah. and also another thing, actually, another thing that's uh, really big here in Australia, and that is people that have been scammed, they're chasing their tails. Um what I mean by that is they've got no money left and they will end up going to cash converters to get loans. Yep. And they're continuously in debt. You know, it's just, it's terrible. It's terrible. And they will never get out of this cycle. It's like a whirlpool. They'll never get out of this cycle. Um, I I was very, very fortunate where I didn't lose as much as some people, but I lost quite a bit. Um, but it all comes back to that psyche again. You know, what's more important, my livelihood or my money? Yeah. And I had so much more to live for with my life. 
And when I was being scammed, at the end of the scam, I was a totally different person. I was a very, very, well, not silly girl, but um, it wasn't the real me. This is the real me. Yeah. And 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 speaking from experience, it's um we we are here, we are here to help, definitely. So come to us, you know. Um, it, it doesn't matter how silly the scam is, what type of scam it is, um, and it might necessarily be yourself. You could say, look, ladies, I've got a friend who probably needs help. She's got no one to talk to. Please. We're here for you. You never have to be alone. It's a terrible, terrible world that we do live in, unfortunately. But just by making that little, giving that little bit of compassion and understanding and listening, that's what we do best, I think. Yeah. What do you reckon? Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, you know, and it's wonderful when it's wonderful when somebody can come to us and talk, and we yeah. don't necessarily have to say anything. We will just sit there and listen. And I always say to people, you know, look, you've got to excuse me, but yes, I'm doing a video call, but I'm also taking notes while you're talking. And you know, if you want to swear, you swear. You know, if you want, oh yes, yes. Because I want to see that real person and I want to see what that scammer has done to that person. Yeah. And that way we can work on what needs to be fixed, you know, and we can only offer our own experience, what we've been through. And that's true. That's true. You know, and, I mean, I, I'm in here, I'm in this now for the long haul, <laughs> you know, until I take my last breath on this earth because I'm just very, very passionate about what I do. Um, and nothing surprises me anymore. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> nothing surprises me. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, and probably you, Alicia, since you've come onto the site too, you know, your eyes have been really, really, you know, opened up. <laughs> Sure, like I said, it's, it's, oh, it's so much more happening than I ever realised. Like I said, because I always focus on the romance scams, not the all the other scams that have been going on, and it's really bad. It's and I think it's getting worse. Mm, mm. And one thing I will say, what we do, ladies um, and, and gentlemen out there who are watching us, I think it's a very, very well, it's something that I like to do, and that is every week. I have a video call with Gaylene and Alicia. Now it might be just a debrief, just to check on each, just to check in on each other and see how we are. You know, it's always so important just to check on your, you know, make sure that you're okay. We'll have a talk about, you know, our scammers, victims, you know, and, and then we'll talk about our families, what we've done for the week. It is so refreshing to always check on each other. Yeah. You know, because you've, yeah. Got to, you've got to look after yourself first before you can look after anybody else. You know, and it's true. It's true. Yeah. Well, ladies, thank you so much. As I said, next week, um, I'm so looking forward to speaking to Caesar. Um, oh, we had so many laughs this morning. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to put his finger through <laughs> the computer so he could get some Vegemite for his taste. Ali showed him the jar of Vegemite. <laughs> and he was very, very interested in the Vegemite. <laughs> um, and I mean, and, and look, I'll tell you what, Caesar has been wonderful with scam haters because we actually spoke about that. And he actually does talk to a lot of victims, which is fantastic. You know, it, it's wonderful. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be a really, really good topic next week. Um so please stay tuned. Oh yeah. Yeah. Any parting words, Gaylene? No, just thank you all for watching. Um yep. sorry I was late, but seems the breaks. 
<laughs> and take Keely out there and mm. watch out for scammers. That's Block exactly right. And report. Oh, definitely, definitely. And always remember, please, 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 you don't have to be alone. There is people you can do. Yeah. That's right. And Alicia, any parting words, love? Yeah, just be very careful. And, you know, we're here if you need us, you know, mm. like, time. Mm. Yeah. And yeah. everyone, thank you so much for joining us. This is our first one we've ever done. It's the first live stream I've ever done in my life. So I hope I got the tick of approval from our Ruth. Um, and I'm still shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get one again sometime, Danny, but you've done very well. I'm proud of you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Alicia. <laughs> you've done very, very well. Um, but, yeah, please. <laughs> You know, you know where we are now. We are here. Um, and, yeah, even if you just want to have a chat, you know, yeah. if, you, if you're a bit low um, and you're finding it just a bit too hard, you know, because you've got not necessarily money woes, but if you've got, a, if you've been a victim of any type of scam, you know where we are. Scam yeah. Hurt is United. Australia and New Zealand. We are on Facebook. We do have a page and we do have a private group. With the private group, there is more content that we post in the group and we have the facility to do a one on one video call if you need us. I'm pretty good actually. I, I like to be available for anyone. Um, day or night, I, I do suffer from insomnia, but yeah. <laughs> with my emails, I do, I normally have at the very, very latest, probably a six hour turnaround, but we will get back to you, whether it be Alicia, whether it be Gailene or whether it be me. And as I said, if it's not us, please go to Ruth. You know, always go to Ruth and then she will just refer you on to us. Ladies, thank you. You're welcome. You You're know, welcome. it's been a pleasure talking to you and it's been great to let it out and let people know what we do, yep. you know, and what we're here for. Um, and, and also we're here also for adolescents, you know. Yeah. If they're victims, if they're being sextorted, we are here for them too. Um, and we were involved. We will not only speak to them, but we'll speak to the family unit. You know, so if they need any help, if anyone needs help, we're here to help you. Thank you, ladies. Good night to you both. All right. Good night, everybody. Good night to you. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye, everyone. Thank you for joining bye. us. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Oh, hang up. <laughs> Bye.